is a presentation of the Lake Providence Missionary Baptist Church. Good morning, Lake Providence Church family. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's good once again to be in the house of the Lord. Today I've asked all the membership to be here and to be for, here for this special announcement. The announcement that has to be made right now is this. In November of 2026, I will be retiring and I'm, uh, stepping down as the pastor of Lake Providence Baptist Church. This will be my 50th year and God willing, with health and strength, I hope that we can do this together as we begin a transition for new leadership into the future. The reason behind this is because we believe through and by scripture that there is a season and a time and a purpose for everything under the heaven. So therefore, it is my desire as I retire to make sure that the church is left with strong leadership. As we make this transition together, I want us to realize that there will be a selection process. I will not be making that decision in and of myself, but I will be helping where needed in making that transition. The church body will make that decision. That decision will be brought before the whole of the church at that time. There will be those who will lead this process, which are those in leadership at present here in the church, the deacons, the trustees of the church, and then other members that will be embraced as far as this church congregation is concerned to help in the selection process. There is a, a leadership team that will be presenting information to you all in the future as to where this begins to make a smooth transition together. I'm not going anywhere. I want y'all to realize this is my church home. My wife and I have been here for these 50, uh, 48 years now, going on 50, and I've been a lifetime member of this church for these many years, the 72 years that God has given me as far as life is concerned. Before retirement, I, once I step down, my wife and I will still be members here and I want you to realize, uh, y'all not getting rid of us. We will still be members here at the church. So you still got to put up with me. Future vision for this church. My prayer is that Lake Providence will stay strong, spiritually, morally, uh, theologically sound, as far as the word is concerned, and that the teachings of the church will continue to be from the perspective of let God's word be final authority. So this is what my desire is for the church and I hope that is your desire too as a church family. I wanna thank you all for a wonderful tenure as pastor of this church because truly we have embraced brothers and sisters in this congregation that we didn't even know when we began out on this journey 48 years ago that we would ever embrace. And I thank all of you who have become family to me because that's who you are. You are my brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless all of you and thank you so very much. Good morning, church family. This is truly a bittersweet moment for myself as well as your pastor. Our gratitude extends far beyond what words could ever say. And we give thanks and praise to God and to you, our Lake Providence family, for showing unwaverly love and support to our personal family throughout the years. As we prepare for this retirement, we thank God for the friendships we have developed over the many 50 years. You have celebrated with us in good times and walked with us in hard times. We have inherited a closeness and share so many wonderful memories. However, we look forward to embracing new experiences on our next journey. As we embark upon the next chapter of our lives, 
we ask that you will continue to lift us up in prayer and embrace whatever God has in store for his beloved church by honoring the past and looking forward to the future. As we embrace the future together and as we look toward the selection of our next pastor, it's my prayer that we will work together to embrace that person, that we will embrace the values that God has in store for us according to the word of God. And as the leadership of the next pastorate of this church begins, that we will work together to embrace the principles that God has in store for all of us. God bless you, Lake Providence, and thank you for 48 years right now, and I'm praying for that 50-year mark with good health and strength. God bless you. bless all of you. I do praise God for the years that he has given all of us together. And I want you all to be aware there is a process in place. Like I said on the video, I'm not making that uh, selection, but I will be here for guidance to the, for the committees that's going to be set up. My wife and I, I, one of the things, and I just failed to realize that, and I didn't mean to skip over that, baby, but I thank God for a wife for 50 years of marriage, <laughs> amen, who has been by my side from day one and has always been that sounding board. Uh, when y'all made, y'all didn't do that too many times, but when y'all made me mad, I could go home and get right by. <laughs> and I thank God for this lady and what she has meant to me as a wonderful first lady of Lake Providence. I want to also say thank you to my children, my two daughters uh, who are sitting back there. Uh, thank God for them. They have been understanding where I couldn't do things as far as being in a lot of the activities of my kids when they were growing up. This lady stepped in and made sure nothing was neglected. And then God blessed me with some beautiful grandchildren. Amen. And you know what? If I had known they were going to be that good, we'd have had them first. <laughs> but uh, I, I, y'all know I spoil my grandchildren, and I love all the babies of this church, and I'm going to continue to work in that capacity to be here for you all, and I want us just to keep on loving one another and making the process as what we got to go through very smooth for the next pastor of the church. I'm going to introduce the, well, I'm going to let y'all know something about this great man, one of our uh, deacons trustees uh, of the church who will provide for you all information at this time, uh, Deacon Claude Willis. Uh, Brother Willis has been very instrumental in church ministry. When I started out as pastor 48 years ago, I don't think he might have been born or he was still running around in diapers. <laughs> but uh, he is a very wonderful man of God. After him, it's going to be Deacon Austin Thompson. Is he still here? There he is, right there. One of my brothers in Christ didn't know who he was 48 years ago, and God blessed him to be a strong member of this church. The ministry of deacons that we have and the ministry of trustees, I just want all the trustees, all our ladies, as well as gentlemen who are trustees, I want them to stand so you all can see who they are. These are the ones, amen, amen, amen. God bless all of you. And it has been, God has just blessed me with good people. Amen. And, and maybe I'm talking too much, but I gotta say this before I sit down, my wife and I sit down. Uh, I hear of horror stories from other pastors, how there's a constant fighting going on between the pastor and the deacons and the trustees and how nobody gets along. That has never been the case. And you all, you men, you women of 
our congregation, you all are to be applauded for the great job that you have done and all the associate ministers also as to where we have worked together to try to address the spiritual side of things as far as the needs of the church are concerned. Some of y'all got a little stubborn at times, but I didn't care. You know what? I tell you, if you don't like it, I don't care. I'm still going to love you. And we kept on going together. Thank God for all of you. I love you guys. Thank you, okay. Brother Thank Willis. You. Oh, you to they want right? you to say something. Okay, go ahead, baby. I love <laughs> you. you know I love you, girl. Now, the committee said that I just need to say a few words and uh -huh. then I could take my seat and they didn't have to tell me twice. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, over the next few months or so, you all will be seeing changes and uh, preparation being made. And uh, it will be either in the church or maybe during service. Mm -hmm. But uh, we just wanted to explain that, so that you all know what that is all about. Amen. And uh, I also want to say, many years ago when we started out, uh -huh. uh, my husband was just about 25 years old at that yeah. time mm -hmm. when he was elected pastor of this church. And who would have ever dreamed that 48 years later uh -huh. that God would have all of us Together, together at this point in time, mm -hmm. celebrating, not celebrating yet, but preparing for his 50th re year retirement. Amen. And uh, some of you started out with us, but uh, many of you didn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is because, I mean, we don't feel like it's been almost 50 years, mm -hmm. but it's because of each and every one of you that we feel that way Amen. because of all the love and support that you have given us through the years. Amen. And it hasn't always been um, sunshine and rainbows, but as, as my husband says, you know, there were disagreements sometimes, but um, at no point did it come so disagreeable that we did not, God did not allow us to reach this point here. Amen. So we just want to say thank you for everything that you have done for us. Amen. Thank you all. I'm going back God to my We thank God for uh, Pastor Maxwell and Mrs. Maxwell. What a beautiful family, the children, son-in-laws, extended family. Thank you so much. It's, it's rare that you have an opportunity to be this close to your pastor, uh, to see them in the community, to see them at church. It's a brother and sister in Christ. So we thank you, uh, Pastor and Mrs. Maxwell, for sharing with us the plans for the ongoing ministry of Lake Providence Missionary Baptist Church for almost 50 years. It's wonderful. To God be the glory. We as a congregation can show our love and appreciation by being prayerful and positively supporting this season that we're about to enter. Everyone should have an opportunity to retire with dignity and respect and everyone should be positive about people retiring, right? Okay, everyone should. So we're moving forward together and entering a new season. Pastor Maxwell has announced his intention to retire as a pastor of Lake Providence Missionary Baptist Church in November 2026. I'm going to briefly outline the process that we'll use. And today's, the point of, um, the intent of today is just to give you an overview and there'll be some follow-up sessions where we'll have an opportunity at the end of my presentation, we'll turn it over. There might be some questions that we can answer, but we have prepared some frequently asked questions, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Pastor Maxwell and our church board, directors, church board of directors have been praying and planning together. As a result, a plan and search process are underway, but the search has not started. Do not submit resumes. Now is not the time. Our leaders are thinking and working to support Pastor Maxwell and Mrs. Maxwell. We are all working together to further the ministry of Lake Providence. Supporting us in this season are you, the congregation, through your continued prayers and volunteerism. We also have an external strategic ministry partner who supported in the past transitions with other large churches. 
we have retained the services of Van der Blomen. Van der Blomen is a Christian-based human resource executive search firm. We are familiar with them because they've worked with churches such as Mississippi Boulevard in Memphis, Christ Church in Nashville, Watson Grove in Nashville, Cross Point in Nashville, Christ Community Church in Franklin, Clearview Baptist Church in Franklin, Long Hollow Baptist Church in Hendersonville, along with many, many others throughout the United States. Our assigned Vander Blomen executive has worked with many churches similarly in history, culture, and community presence. They know and understand us. We interviewed them and we feel very comfortable that they are going to be our partners. The Lake Providence Missionary Baptist Church team will be your communication link and we will update you as we travel through this new season together. We can use virtual uh, town halls, live town halls, this is our first one, or virtual church business meetings as a forum to update the congregation. Several teams at Lake Providence are being formed and working to offer great support. Now, this is in addition to the current structure of leadership committees and the recent requests that, being, that have been made to the congregation for volunteers, such as the Human Resource Advisory Committee, the outreach position that we've talked about, the bylaws church constitution. Those are all opportunities for you as a congregation to get involved prior to this process, but we have some other uh, positions uh, and teams that we'll be working too. We have asked several leaders to consider leading these teams and adding team members as needed. These teams include an administrative team to oversee staff needs, finances, facilities, bylaws, et cetera. We've asked trustees Derek Williams, Randolph Wilkerson, and Greg Cobb to lead those teams. Eventually, we'll have a celebration team to plan our appreciation, recognition, ceremonies, and other events for Pastor Maxwell, Mrs. Yvonne Maxwell, and their family. We'll have a communication team to ensure clear, intentional communication throughout the process. We've asked Deacon Ronald Roberts and Larry Flowers to co-lead this team. We'll have a community team to manage our external connections throughout this season. We've asked CAO Irvin Williams to lead this team. There will be a search team. And the nucleus of this search team started the conversation with pastor some time ago. But this search team will prayerfully co uh, conduct a structured, effective search process for Lake Providence's next pastor. And we'll have a theological team to ensure our search as a whole has a consistent focus on spiritual disciplines and spiritual growth. We've asked Reverend Taylor Stokes to lead this team. We will post frequently asked questions on the church website for 30 days. Those will be uploaded sometime this week. We anticipated some of the questions, but we may not be able to answer all of them. And so we're gonna have some time when I get done to answer a few questions before we transition to Sunday school. But there may be additional questions. So I would ask you to send those questions or email to trustees, it's with an S, at lpmbc.net. That's trustees, with an S, at lpmbc.net. That is a site to go to, an email address that distributes your email questions to all the trustees so we can answer those. So we want to thank you for your attention. And before I turn it over, we have um, some gentlemen to my left and right. They're going to be in a position to bring the mic to you. We're going to ask you to kind of step forward at least halfway in the sanctuary. That way we don't have any interference with the microphone. And that way we can see you also uh, on camera so we'll know who's asking the question. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over uh, to Maxwell. You guys can go out and get in position. We're going to turn it back over to Pastor Maxwell, and then uh, if you have any questions for us or really for him, um, then uh, now's the time to ask, okay? Thank you. Everything must be perfectly clear. Thank you. Uh, no, if you... <laughs> Guys, I, you know, I just praise God for the number of years that God has given uh, my pastorate here. And if you have any questions and you don't, if you want to ask them now, you're welcome to do so. But if you don't and you want to call, I, 
please call the office and we'll talk. We'll, uh, and I know the office phones might be tied up next week, but uh, please call. Uh, I, I, and this is out of pure love that I have for this congregation and where I pray that God will lead us into the future because God has been truly wonderful to us as a congregation. There's been a lot that we've been through. Uh, so just want y'all to know that. Question? Yes. I just uh, want a clarification. I think, Pastor, when you introduced Claude, now Claude is a deacon and a trustee? He's a deacon slash trustee, yes. Okay. There are several that we have that are deacons slash trustees, so they serve so they in a dual capacity, yes. Okay, we, we were wondering about that, because uh -huh. you know, there was some talk, there were senior, you know, yeah. individual roles, but we can use them in that way. I know Claude was a yes. deacon first, uh -huh. and so they evolved into this he, as well. He okay. has. Mm -hmm. I would just want a clarification, okay. thank you. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? To the left? Yes. This is very emotional for me, and I just like to say, I feel so blessed to have you been the leader of our church for so long. And I, just one question. Uh -huh. Do you have to go, Pastor? <laughs> Jesse, I want you to know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to still be here, and I'm going to still spoil you. I'm going to spoil the grandbabies, too. Uh, I, I, I just want to step back from the day-to-day the -day duties and all. And like I said, the new pastor, whoever that is, if they need my assistance, I will be here as we transition to the new pastor. I want you all to know that. Uh, but I ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm going to still be a member. And uh, we're going to greet each other each Sunday uh, right here in the sanctuary. Now, my grandson may be uh, kind of confused because he's going to say, Papa, why are you sitting out here with me? But I'm going to get a chance to actually sit with my wife on Sunday morning and my grandbabies and my daughters and my son-in-laws. Uh, didn't mention that, and I didn't mean to omit you, Sandy, nor Belford. Belford's not here, but uh, I have two great son-in-laws, and I thank God for both of them because they put up with my daughters. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but I praise God. Yes, the question back there. Pastor Maxwell, will you be in that, do they, do the, does the church hope to have the new pastor by December 2026. Is that person supposed to be in place or hope to be in place by then? We're hoping to have that person and there be sort of an overlap as to where uh, he may come in, he or she, uh, I don't want to, uh, that person. Uh, the decision is y'all's. I, I want y'all to know that. The decision is the church's, and the church will vote on that decision. But whoever ever that person is, it may be an overlap period of time as to where I will still be pastor. Uh, that person will come in as pastor elect, but the, uh, the duties will begin to tra transfer off to him, and I'll be stepping back from those duties. I want whoever that person is, to get to know Lake Providence. And I want that person to love y'all like I have loved you. Uh, don't take for granted, because I've seen some mess-ups before, but I want there to be a relationship that is built, and I'm here to help that person build that relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Since we're using a search firm, it's assumption made there should be a nationwide search with many type of, type of people coming in to lead this church? Yes, there will be a nationwide search, uh, and, but we will, uh, uh, as they search, the final decision, and I can't stress this enough, 
the final decision of the election of the next pastor will be in the hands of this congregation, you, God's people. And we want to get a good fit for, because they have, and you all know of disasters as well as I do, that have happened in ministries. And we don't want that to happen as far as our church is concerned. Uh, we want to take into consideration the person, whoever that is, that is elected to lead this church into the future. Yes, we, we will do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right. One more? Okay. Congratulations, Reverend Maxwell and Mrs. Maxwell. Um, my question is, <clears throat> I hear you saying that the church will make the decision about the final pastor. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that there will be a vote of that to make that decision? Most certainly there will be. Once the name or the, the two, whatever, and we are finally two candidates or three or whoever, and you all have witnessed those persons, the church will make that vote. And what we're trying to get to happen, we will try and get the entirety of the congregation to say yes to that person. But if it is 90, 95%, we want it to be 95 or more percent of the embracing of our congregation of that next individual. I hope uh, we won't do that on a 50-50, somebody get 50% or the other per uh, one person get 45 and the other person get 40, uh, 55%. Uh-uh, that's a split uh, situation and a disaster waiting to happen. But I want you all to feel free in knowing that we're going to do the best that we possibly can for that not to happen. Uh, so there will be people who I don't want you and I want to say this real quick, and I've said this, don't, don't look at a person uh, with a hoop and a holler. Come on. Amen. I want y'all to hear. Hear the word. Follow. I taught y'all through the years. Bring your Bibles with you. And study when the, that person takes the scripture, you know, and tell you, y'all don't need to turn that. Uh uh, you turn that. And you read it along with that individual so you'll know for yourselves. You've been taught, and you know better than that. You do, Lake Providence, and I praise God and I applaud you for bringing your Bibles. When, when I started pastoring 48 years ago, there wasn't but about three people in the church, honestly, at the membership of a membership of 118 people. That's where we've grown from. This church had that would bring their Bibles to church. And I started challenging and begging people, bring your Bible, bring your Bible. There are some strange theologies that are going on in our world today. So I want you all to be spiritually, biblically, theologically sound in God's word. God bless you all. Thank you all, though. All right. And I, I promise uh, I will, like I said, we will still be members. We're selling our house. We're moving. We're not leaving no forwarding address, and I'm changing phone numbers. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. <laughs> I told someone the other day, my kids may not even know where we live, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding on that. I love you all, and I want you all to know in the future, we're going to be together still. Amen? Amen? God bless you. Let us stand. Oh, Brother Thompson, I forgot. That's one of the best chairman of deacons you ever want to have right yeah. there. God bless you, man. Thank you. Go ahead, Brother Thompson. Pastor. It's titled, When a Pastor Retires, uh -huh. and then we're going to pray. Okay. Be proud of the work that you have done. Never forget the difference you made in someone's life. Never forget the lives that you have touched 
in the way you made them feel. Thank you for your example that you have led before this congregation. Thank you for your character, but most of all, I thank you for your integrity. Amen. Enjoy. Enjoy the next chapter of your life. May it bring you endless and joy and time to do things that you deserve to do. Let's pray. Let's, let's bow, please. Eternal God, our Father, we bow before you to recognize who you are, to know what your Son, Jesus Christ, and our Savior has done for us, and to give reverence to the precious Holy Spirit. Before I go any further to ask for anything, Father, I want to say thank you for Reverend H. Bruce Maxwell. Thank you for her, he, that you called him. Thank you for that he anointed on his life. Thank you that you allowed him to shepherd this congregation for almost 50 years. Thank you for the, he taught us to study and share the word. Thank you that you, your righteousness and faith in his life is through you. Thank you for his dedication. Thank you for his humility. Thank you for the wisdom that you gave him even when we didn't see the vision. He, didn't, he trusts you, but not us. We are thankful for his faithfulness to you, Father. May he continue to trust you in new adventures, in new chapter of his life. May you bless and keep he and Miss Maxwell for the remaining of the years to come. This is our prayer, and we love you. It's in the name that's above every name. Jesus Christ, we pray, and everybody say what? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Good job, guy. Good job, man.